Hello, it's me, the that, and I have a new video for you guys. It's of course again um, about the PS Vita and some hacking stuff like VHPL, e custom camera, and things like that. Um, at first, my PS Vita had the most recent firmware installed no update available system system information version 2.02 .02 and it's still the same MAC address so it's not a second PS Vita device or something like that um, gonna mute the Vita and now I will trigger the exploit. Um, um, the um, e custom firmware will be um, will be released um, for the version 2.02. .02. So if your Vita is at the firmware 2.00 or 2.01. Um, you better update to the version 2.02 .02 because then you have both the most recent firmware and the e custom firmware. Okay, there we go. It's uh, still the same PS Vita 2.02 .02 and the e custom firmware. Um, yeah, some audio. Um, yeah, let's launch some games. Um, this is, by the way, a Japanese game. So it's possible to play foreign games with the e custom firmware. Um, this booting screen is the um, multi menu by Asset Snake. If you press the up or down button while it's booting, you can choose between the several menus like the um, the V menu, the Y menu, and um, other menus. Um, homebrew. Is also working. PSP filer for ex um, as an example. Um, I will launch this um, Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulator. Some simple games like Pokemon Crystal. Um, that's what I was talking about before, the uh, multi-menu. You can choose between the TN menu, the V menu, the Y menu and the Pi menu. Um, I will launch the V menu. Um, yeah. That's the V menu. Um, you can browse between the folders and such stuff. <coughs> Back to the TM menu. Um, it's also possible to um, to launch PS One games. It's now finally possible to launch these uh, PS One games. It's actually possible with every TNC release, also for the one point eight one. But at this um, 2.02 .02 release, it will be possible as well. Um, the sound of the Vita is enabled, but there's problem that the sound is not working.
Oh god, all these CD2 save games. This is of course CD1. Um, yeah, I've played the game a bit. Um, yeah. Next memory card slot. Um, I guess there was one save game that's. Yes, that's. It's working. Loading. Um, pretty sad that there is no sound, but you can play your PS1 games, which is really nice. Um, and when you exit the PS1 games, you have a strange glitch. The screen looks a bit glitchy, and but that's um, no real problem. You can still exit the PS1 game to the um, TNE custom primer. Um, this game is an bought game. Um, I've bought it from the PSN, which is also Grandia, but this is CD1 and 2 in one um, file. Um, it should have sound. It has sound when I launched it from the live area, but not from within the PSP emulator. So, um, the sound issue is not like the game is not bored, it has no sound. It's more like you can't access the uh, media engine which is um, which handles the sound for the games, for the PS1 games, so it might be very hard to get sound for the PS1 games inside of the PSP emulator. But, um, yeah, version 2.02, .02, the TNE custom primer, ported by Frostigator, keeps his name in mind, he's a great developer. And, yeah, I'm the that, and see you soon.